Hello and welcome to Math Matters. I'm Ms. Whitehead Tambani and today we are going to learn ways to be a problem solver in communicating our ideas about adding two parts together to make the whole. Before we get started, let's get our math brains warmed up by looking at these dots. How many do you see? Maybe you saw two on the left, two in the middle, and two on the right. That would make six. Maybe you saw three on the top and three on the bottom, which would make six. There are different ways to see a number. Our learning outcome for today is to model and solve story problems. You can work on your communicator skills by listening so you can understand. Think about how communicators write or model to share ideas when I have you work on the math problem later. Mice, mice everywhere. What do you know about mice? What do you think this story is going to be about? I'm going to read the story to you now. Mice, mice everywhere. Four on a chair, two in the air. Mice, mice everywhere. Five in a band, three in the sand. Mice, mice everywhere. Two in the cheese, six in the trees. Mice, mice everywhere, three in a box, four wearing socks. Mice, mice everywhere, eight under the floor, two behind the door. Mice, mice everywhere, four on a bike, five on a trike. Mice, mice everywhere, nine on a rocket, one in a pocket. This big house has rooms to spare, mice run and play everywhere. What happened in the story? What did you see in each picture? There were always two groups of mice. Let's try this problem. Mice, mice everywhere. Five in a band, three in the sand. Let's see how we can figure out this, this one. This is a part, part, whole mat. We are going to put the parts of the story on the mat first. There were five mice in the band, so we put five mice in the first part. There were three mice in the sand, so we put three mice in the second part. In order to figure out what the whole is, we need to put the two parts together. Let's do that now. Great, we put eight mice in the whole box. Five and three makes eight. What do you notice about this picture? Maybe you notice that the part part whole mat shows five and three makes eight and there are eight mice in the picture at the bottom. Maybe you notice that the red and orange circles are around the parts of each picture.
maybe you saw that everything in the blue circles is the whole, which is eight. I'm going to have you solve a problem, but first you need to get your materials. You will need one piece of paper, crayons, and 20 counters. I'm going to count to 30, but I'm going to start with 10 instead of one. Ready, go. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. One, two, three, come back to me. Mice, mice everywhere. Eight under the floor, two behind the door. I want you to make a part, part, whole mat like this. I'll wait while you do this. Now I'll show you the problem again and I want you to fill in the mat. Mice, mice everywhere. Eight under the floor, two behind the door. How many mice are there? Now solve the problem by either drawing counters or placing counters in the part, part, whole mat. So we had eight and two makes 10. Great job. Let's reflect on our learning. Take a moment to think about yourself as a mathematician and communicator. Did you learn something new about modeling and solving story problems? Were you able to listen so you could understand? Did you write or make models to share your ideas? Mathematicians can communicate their ideas in many ways. In today's episode of Math Matters, we learned ways to be a problem solver and communicating our ideas about addition word problems. Try to make and solve word problems with your family today. Make sure to communicate how to solve the problems. I'm Ms. Whitehead Tambani. I hope you have a great day and keep on counting.